All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day three of the Actors Arsenal Move from Fear to Fuck It 14 Day Mini Course. Again, I'm Hillary Ward. I'm here from Dream Unlocked. And um, before we get started today, I just want to um, check in with you about how things went yesterday. Um, I got a thank you uh, from somebody who's taking the course. And it was interesting because it came right at a moment that I was feeling really frustrated and kind of annoyed with how the day had been going. Um, and getting that thank you email from her immediately snapped me out of my own sort of negative spiral of thinking. And then all of a sudden I thought, you know, I'm really lucky I had two auditions today. The reason that I'm sitting in this room and had to deal with traffic is because I had the opportunity to act. I had the opportunity to get a job and it got me kind of out of my funk. It got me back focused on what I was supposed to be doing there, which was telling that story and giving the best audition that I could in that moment. So I hope that uh, your experience of being thankful of reaching out, that you got some sort of connection or interaction back from it. If you want to comment about that, either in Facebook or on the chats, I would love to hear about that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The other thing I want to bring up before we start is I got a question from one of the participants. Her name is Adil. I, I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, and she had a couple of questions. She um, had questions specifically about auditioning. And one of the concerns that she brought up was dealing with um, how to quickly memorize. Um, for those of you who are transitioning into TV and film or who've been in it for a while, you already know that the turnover for TV and film is, or for TV in particular, is very, very fast, right? So sometimes you'll get an audition, you know, the night before, maybe six or seven o'clock, you go in maybe you know noon the next day for something that could be fitting and shooting in the next couple of days now if you're going in for co-stars typically that's going to mean that you have one or two lines and those might not be as difficult to memorize but you could end up with a one day guest or i mean i've even been in the situation that i've had a top of show guess that the turnaround was very very quick so you're looking at you know maybe uh, three or four scenes that you need to have prepared the next day. So I will share it again. I need to look through uh, the archive of April's videos, but she has a couple of, of ways that she works. One of them that she uses that I think is really useful is called the nine times fast technique. So she um, repeats the lines without expression nine times as quickly as she can. So you, really you just learn the lines by rote. And what it does is it just gets you into the rhythm of the dialogue. It also just helps you not have to keep going to the page. And then if you're memorizing it by rote, meaning that you're not putting any sort of expression, you're not putting any sort of intention on it, then you can build in the intention later. You are more able to um, interact with your reader because you haven't had some preconceived idea of how the scene is gonna go. You haven't memorized it in a particular way. So that's one tool that you can use. The other tool that um, I often use, especially if I have to memorize, if it's very, very important that I memorize something word for word. So um, when I think about the importance of memorizing something word for word, it's usually for a character who uses their words as weapons, like their words are their main um, way that they armor up and get through life. Or if I'm dealing with a comedy, particularly a really well-written comedy, because those writers took the time to plan out those jokes and probably what they wrote is better than what you're gonna come up with in the moment. So make sure that you memorize those word for word. What I do is I write the first letter of each of the words in my line on a piece of paper, and then I write out the other character's lines full, and then I write just the first letter of mine. So it gives me like a little cheat sheet that I can go to as I am memorizing it. For some reason, the act of writing it down and seeing it and saying it out loud, that helps me learn lines really quickly. So if you want to try to use those tools, I would. Also, just if you know that you have a trouble with, trouble with memorization, 
then go on the dreamunlocked.com slash sides. There are sides up there that you can use. You can download them, set up your camera at home and practice doing some self tapes. You can either do them with a friend, you can take a monologue and do it by yourself. If you know that that's a problem for you, do it before you're in the situation that you're in an audition where the stakes are higher and you feel like you you have to be perfect because you want to get a job. And then the other thing that Adil asked about was how to live the role on TV and film. And now I'm not sure exactly what she meant by that. What I'm guessing is that you want to feel like you um, are embodying it fully. Um, there are a couple of books that I really love. If you just are straight up wondering about good acting technique, one of them is Intent to Live by Larry Moss, who is a master teacher and coach and, um, and studied with Stella and Uda and all of those great, great teachers and now teaches um, all over the world. So his book, again, it's called Intent to Live and it's just really, really good basics about how to act. But um, if you are wanting to find a way in, I would talk, uh, I would use a tool as if you need to put yourself in a situation that you can relate to. So whatever the character is going through in your own life, you need to say, this is as if I were doing such and such. The other thing that I think especially novice actors forget is that your job as an actor is to justify your character's choices, not to defend them. So sometimes characters do crappy things. It's not your job to say, no, my character is not crappy. It's like, no, my character did this crappy thing, but they have a really good reason. Your job is to justify it. So you need to come up with the logical reasons, the emotional reasons that this person is acting in this way, and then that will help you embody the character better. Okay, so today we've now identified our goal. We have turned outward by saying thank you. and. Now that you know your goal, I don't know about you, but for me, what often happens, and especially when I first started getting specific about the things that I wanted to do and the ambition that I had in my career was that I would say, okay, I'm going to book my first guest star this episodic season. That's what my goal is. And I would take the time to kind of visualize it all out and what kind of show I wanted to be on and how I wanted it to feel. But there was always a voice in the back of my head that was like, bullshit, you can't do that. And she was real mean. She was really, really mean to me. She acted like what I was saying was stupid, that it wasn't possible. And what I would do is I would try to ignore it. I would try to dismiss it. I would try to act like that voice wasn't coming up, but it was really, really strong. And it was, the more I ignored her, the stronger that she got. I could even see her face. She was like that mean, mean bitch in junior high <laughs> who made you feel bad about, you know, your sweatshirt that you really liked that you showed up to school that day. That was what my girl looked like and sounded like. So I, when I was talking with my own coach about this, I was like, yeah, I just, I have this goal and I try to tell my, I try to set the intention that I'm going to do it. I'm going to accomplish it but it's really hard for me to believe it. It feels really far away. It doesn't feel possible. And one of the things that she told me to do is go to the page. So what I wanna offer you is a tool, just it's free writing. So what you do get, um, I mean, get any notebook. I just use, um, I usually use like legal pads, those yellow legal pads, and I want you just to go ahead and give voice to that doubtful, mean, mean voice in the back of your head that's that keeps coming up and telling you that you can't have the thing that you want. I mean, you know, when we were, it's just our ego coming up. And I just want to introduce you to that idea of ego. Um, it's not ego as in um, our being sort of prideful or boastful. Um, it's that part of you that is really trying to keep you safe. It's like when we were on the earth thousands and thousands of years ago, when humans were on the earth, we needed that part of our brain that kind of kept us scared because it kept us safe. It, we needed that part of the brain that was like, don't go there, there might be a saber tooth cat. <laughs> you know, don't eat that, it could be poison. All of those 
those thoughts that come up that kept us alive, literally helped us survive. But in most cases today, we're not living in an environment where we are where it's literally life and death all of the time. Most of us, if we are sitting down and having time to do an online class about acting at 10 a.m., are not contending with those everyday fears. But that part of our brain still gets activated. So we come up with all of these thoughts, this monologue that scares us, that tells us that we're not enough, that keeps us away, that keeps us from going after the things that we really want. And so what I want you to do, instead of trying to repress that voice, you can do one of two things. I like to write it down. The other thing you can do is just let her talk, literally give her voice. So if it were me, I would, I would sit down and let my girl talk. I would give her voice. I'd say like, yeah, that, um, I know that you think that you're gonna do that, but all of those women who get parts like that, they're actually a lot younger and skinnier than you. And, and just let her talk and let it, and talk it out or write it down until it feels absolutely complete, till it feels done. And then what I want you to do with that is take that piece of paper, rip it up, shred it, if you can even burn it because once that those thoughts are out what they tend to do is relax they don't get so loud they don't amplify because they're just thoughts we can let go of them you are not your thoughts okay these are that's just your ego trying to protect you but you're not in danger so let her have her voice let her say all of the mean things that she's trying to say have some compassion for yourself because it's really just you trying to protect yourself. And then you can move forward in your goal knowing that you don't have to be afraid of anything. There's nothing here that's unsafe. You're allowed to say what you want, say what you need and go after it, okay? So the assignment for today is to do that free write or to do that monologue. When you, con when you, when you state your goal, when you talk about the thing that you want, I want you to go ahead and let all of that ugly stuff come up. I want you to write it down. I want you to destroy it. Please, please do not read it. Do not record it and listen, it, listen to it again. That is literally like eating your own vomit, okay? None of this stuff is real. It doesn't matter if you read it, you're giving it importance. You're just expressing it and letting it go. Does that make sense to everybody? Thumbs up, yeah, yeah I see nods, okay. Great. So again, just to remind you, the replay of this day is going to be visible through midnight tonight. Do your free write. Please keep sending me questions. If you have questions and you're wondering how to get them to me, a really great way is just to email badass actors and writers, or excuse me, badass actors, writers, and dreamers. You can you can message that page if you have anything that you want me to address particularly in the class the next day. Um, besides the curriculum that I already have set out. And then um, just to preview the rest of this week, we're really gonna focus on this mindset stuff. And then in the second week, we're going to go into the nuts and bolts of like, okay, what are the resources that I have at hand that can help me move towards my goal? All right, that's all I got today. Thank you so much everybody for joining me and I will see you same time tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. right here on Facebook or on Zoom. It's Hillary Ward. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody.